Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to reset your forgotten Windows password. So you don't need any special software or hardware to reset your computer password. For a small part of this video, I'll have to use my phone to do recording. So I'm going to switch over to my phone and show you the recording of my laptop. I'll show you how to get into Windows recovery. So with your computer off, press and hold the power button. On your computer or laptop now when you see the Windows startup screen press and hold the power button when you press and hold the power button it will shut off your computer Turn on your computer again. Now when you see preparing automatic repair, this will boot into the Windows recovery. Just give it a minute. Click on advanced option. Now at this point I can switch to my computer screen to show you a better view of what I'm doing. So now you have entered the Windows recovery. Click on troubleshoot. Advanced options. System image recovery. Now click on cancel. Select next, click on advance, now click on install a driver, we're not going to install any driver, but we need access to the folders, click on ok. So now we have access to the folders, we need to locate a file called utilman. All right, so we don't have it in here. Click on the local disk, Windows, System 32. Let's look for that file again. So here it is, right click on it, rename, I'm going to name it Utilman Real, press enter, alright I thought it didn't change but it did change. So I'm going to head out of this and then go back in. Okay, so it did change. It just needed to be refreshed. And you can do the refresh by going out of the folder and then coming back in. Next, we are going to search for the CMD. Now we're going to rename the CMD Utilman. Press enter. So we need to refresh in order to see the rename file. We go back out and then click on it again. So this is what we want. So click on cancel. Click on OK. 
cancel 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 and just click on continue now click on ease of access now that has brought up the CMD and that's what we want now to pull up all the account user you type in net user now we want to reset the password for the account called app tech bits so i need to type in net user app tech bits now i could type in net user or i could press the up arrow button to bring up the last command run now all i have to do after pressing the up arrow button press space and then type in the account that i want to reset which is in this case app tech bits Next, I have to type in a space and then asterisk, press enter. Now it will ask me to enter the password. I won't enter any password. And note also, when you try to enter a password, it won't show up as anything. So be careful what you type in. So if you don't want to enter any password, you press enter and then enter again. And that's successful. Close this out. And now I don't have to type in any password to log into this account. So just click on the submit arrow button. Now the last step is we need to rename the two files that we change. So click on file explorer. This PC. Your local disk. Windows. Scroll down until you reach system 32. Locate the two files that we renamed. Right click on it. Rename. This one is CMD. Press enter. So it will not allow me to rename the file. So right click on it, click on properties, security, click on advanced, click on change permission. Click on change. Click on advanced. Find now. Click on this one, click on OK, click on OK, let's edit this one, full control, OK, edit, full control, OK. Apply, yes, okay, okay, let's try to rename it, CMD, continue, so I'm going to locate the other one that I renamed, Press enter. So I have to change administrative access on this file too. So right click on it, go to properties, click on security, click on advanced, change, click on advanced, find now. So I want to give this user full access. Click on OK, click on OK, click on Apply, OK, click on this one, click on Edit, Full Control, click on OK, Apply, Yes, OK, 
okay rename press enter continue yes now if we sign out of this account try to sign in and click on this make your computer easier to use it doesn't give us the cmd and that's what we want so that's it for this video hope you find the video helpful please like and subscribe and i'll see you in another one